Hi, it's Joy, and today I'm going to be watching The Bad Batch, Season 2, Episode 12, The Outpost. I'm ready for another episode of this show. Will it be a continuation of the last one, or something totally separate? Reminder that you can find the unedited version of this reaction and all of my reactions on my Patreon two weeks in advance. Edited version one week in advance, and let's go. So it's you. We're soldiers. What are we supposed to do now? Find something Please, better. Choose for yourself for once. Fantastic. More clones. Hmm. Problem, sir. Yes. I don't like used equipment. Fuck. Well, they don't like Let's you go. either. You made a really great decision to stay in the Empire and not go back with your brothers, Crosshair. Because they would have taken him back. Real high value mission you've been sent on, Crosshair. They value you so much. Where are the rest of your men? Dead. Yeah. I am in charge here until the cargo is transported. I feel safer already. <laughs> Look here, clone. Conditions have degraded our equipment. I request a replacement, mm -hmm. but got none. Yep. What's inside those crates? I want to know that too. Was it worth all the lives that have been lost? Inside the perimeter? Fuck me, fuck, fuck. I mean, I'm Team Raiders, but I don't really want the clones to get killed. Strike a killing blow, you slipping. Did they both die? God. What are you doing just standing around? And the Empire doesn't give a shit. Two crates of but Cos has loyal. Send your troops to retrieve it. Well, it is cold. It's just left in here. No point in carrying dead weight. They booby trapped the tunnel. <laughs> Do you know how to disarm it? The Empire has ignored all my requests. Yep. Yeah. Glorious Empire that you serve loyally, Crosshair. Clone Force 99. What happened to them? They're gone. I left and them. here we are. The survivors. His family is out there. He could be with them right now. Shipments, but real slow. I'll wait around the bend. Yeah. <laughs> if I don't hear a boom, then I'll know it worked. Fuck, he's fleeing with cargo. You might find out what's in it now that those crates hopefully broke open. Slightly outnumbered. I want Mayday to survive. Ideally, Crosshair to see the error of his ways one day. What is the cargo? Gear. We've been risking our lives to recover equipment we could have been wearing this whole time. Fuck. It's not clone trooper gear. New toys for the shiny new military. They really people the lives over story. this. Oh god. Mm-hmm. Is Mayday okay or did he get crushed by the weight of the snow against that rock? Doesn't look good. After all his comments about dead weight, how does he actually feel? Especially if he's just a reg. Mayday, wake up. He's alive. We have to move. Mayday. Crosshair is growing as a person. Is there hope for him yet? Surely at this point he's realised the Empire doesn't give any downs about him and that it's sort of no benefit to him to be loyal to it. But this is good for Crosshair. 
I like to see it. Because he was the most anti-reg of all of them. Character growth, finally. Going there step by step, using your sniper rifle as a walking stick. This is where your choices have led you, but you do seem to be having some kind of emotional growth. I think I'm going to leave without them, like take all the cargo and just leave. I wouldn't put it past them that they'll turn up and they'll be gone. Tuh. Didn't bother sending anyone to look for the people he sent out, did he? Crosshair, you've got to leave the fucking empire. Anyone gonna help them? About time you two returned. Fuck off. Help him. Certainly not. That would be a waste of the Empire's resources. He'll. He'll die. Oh god. Is this gonna be the final awakening? Like Quasi had to be literally slapped in the face with the truth to realize it? He How many men died? Purpose. Jesus As a Christ. soldier of the Empire. Leave him and get back to work. Leave him. Well, well Crosshair, welcome to reality. I do feel bad. But it's also very telling that he had to be mistreated by the Empire so personally to notice or to care. But I do believe he is feeling this finally. Lieutenant. He's gonna shoot him. I did see that coming as well, but that was like the, the not even a smart way of dealing with anything. You're just gonna get arrested now or killed. Is he waking up in prison? Is he in a lab? Hello. Oh god, he's in the clone lab or do you prefer this would have been where the empire would have taken him eventually regardless remain calm the consequences Operate. of your choices you might survive this is awful okay so this is definitely my favorite of the crosshair centric episodes because we finally got some actual character development from him um i've been very critical of crosshair and i've got a lot of messages being like you just don't understand and i i, I do i do understand why he went to the empire i do un i mean i don't agree with it and i think he had better options on his hand i get why he feels the need but every clone was raised to be a soldier every clone was raised to be loyal without question other clones have seen the brutality around them and left not all of them but not all of them have brothers and were already so separate from the rest of them it's not like the bad batch were loyal to the republic obviously they were but like following orders to the letter and like you know good little goody two shoes they did whatever the fuck they wanted and did things the way they wanted and suddenly crosshair refused to even go back with his brothers when the empire had abandoned him to die that was why i was especially critical of him when he could he'd seen firsthand how terrible the empire were to everybody he'd seen how they didn't care about clones he watched them kill an entire race of people. His brothers were like, you know, if you came back with us, we'd take you. And then he was like, I must rejoin the Empire and be used. I must. That's why I find him frustrating. But in this episode, we saw that him, all the injustices he's witnessed and been part of and been subjected to, finally boiling to a surface. And I particularly like that it was his sort of companionship with Mayday that brought him to that point because he is so I mean all of the Bad Batch were but he in particular was so anti-regs and for it to be losing a reg that is the thing that pushes him over the edge um is very telling but also telling that he is growing finally took him long enough um and obviously, ultimately, the Empire is to blame, and I'm fully aware of that when I say what I'm about to say next. But I do fully believe Crosshair is to blame for the choices he made have put him where he is. Yes, the Empire is ultimately to blame, far more to blame. Um, but it's just so frustrating to me that it took, like, the Empire literally slapping him in the face, going, we don't care about you, for Crosshair to be like, 
they they don't care about me <laughs> like it was obvious before then it was obvious they didn't care about him it was obvious they were bad for the galaxy at large it was obviously there was nothing to benefit from him from being in the empire it was obvious that the empire hated clones it was obvious that even though his family and he had some sort of if there was tension between them because of what had happened they would have welcomed him back but what did crosshair do no he he waited to, on camino for days until someone rescued him um that is where my frustration with him lies this episode definitely seeing him forge that bond with mayday was good it, it was the biggest sign of hope the fact that he did not leave him to die in his comments about dead weight or whatever i do think there's a difference between i guess an already dead body and assuming the guy died before when they were running through the tunnel or not um, but the way he risked everything to save Mayday and to bring him home because something about him talking about being stranded there and watching all his brothers die and then finding out it was just for some gear or just for some you know a few helmets some armor it wasn't even for anything important really um it shows just how little they value the clones like him and that he has enabled this by being part of the empire and he he made a very dumb crosshair choice by shooting the lieutenant like I, i'm not shocked or surprised that he did it like you know i felt like that lieutenant was gonna die at some point there was even a point where i was thinking if crosshair just kills him this planet is so abandoned that the, the rage has got him um it was he had it coming but doing it there and then just meant he was gonna get arrested like do it or shot on sight like whereas if you just played along like you were okay with everything got back to Coruscant maybe he could get off world and fucking escape yet again Crosshair make dumb choices he, that's all he does he makes dumb choices I do feel very bad for him in this episode finally I was able to connect with him as a character um but like I said the fact that it took being literally hammered around the head with the truth for him to see the truth is very frustrating um but the end with him being in a clone facility being in a lab being experimented on utterly horrific i would not wish that on my worst enemy and that creepy science guy it does make me think that potentially the bad batch the batch are going to end up having to come here if, especially if they get their hands on omega or whatever like that we're going to run past with crosshair and he may end up rejoining the team i have some iffiness about that given that crosshair was cool with rejoining the genocidal empire um i don't feel that you know i mean i feel bad for him being in this situation but i would be like you literally watched as they bombed all the kaminoan cities it wasn't even just one lab it was an entire civilization that they slaughtered and you went back to them when you could have come with us now you have no other options you want to come with us i would have a little bit of a problem with him just casually rejoining the team um i would save him from the facility i would not leave him there to die but i would then be like maybe you should make your own way because we clearly weren't what you wanted you wanted genocidal empire that is my issue with crosshair i know it is more complex than just an average person choosing to join the empire but he had he was even more complex than your average clone in the sense that he had a fully fledged family a unit a team of brothers that had been doing their own thing for such a long time that he could have gone back to it was a very fascinating episode my preferred my, my favorite of the crosshair centric episodes even if the contract crosshair centric episodes are my least favorite episodes of the show but this was a good one i'm reminded that you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my patreon two weeks in advance the edited version one week in advance and thank you so much for watching